Smokes Blues Boy Jag, another cigar box guitar, Toronto. Ain't that pretty? Let me turn on the overhead light so you can really see the cool box here. Three string. Cigar box guitar. Kind of a collage of various scenes. So, all my cigar box guitars have basically the same design. These are all red oak necks. These are the same frets you'd find on a Fender or Gibson or Gretsch, etc. Old school bolt for a nut. Old school bolts for the string trees. Old school bolt for the bridge. The two screws here tell you where the, the bridge goes when you replace the strings. This is a floating bridge, which means when you take the strings off, the bridge falls off and you put it back on under the tension of the strings. So that uh, those two bolts right there, two screws right there, tell you exactly where the bridge goes so that everything is in tune. It's got to be right in the perfect spot. Strings are wrapped around the screws. And you can tell that they're just wrapped back into the, uh, I guess you call it a ferrule, whatever you call those doohickeys right there. Basically, it's just a knot. Strap holder, one volume, one jack. Here's the pickup embedded inside the box so that I didn't have to cut a big old hole in the box. There's your sound hole. And as I've said this for the past many, many years. You don't need a big honking sound hole to get a good acoustic sound. These obviously aren't going to be as loud as a real acoustic because the boxes are way smaller than a real acoustic guitar. Therefore, you don't need a really big sound hole. I could make this sound hole as big as possible. The neck actually goes to about here inside the box, so I can't make the sound hole that big. But I could make the sound hole about, as, about that big and it wouldn't increase your tone. I could pull this off, this little logo off, put the sound hole right here, make it this big. It won't be any louder than it is already with that sound hole. Science, it's science, 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 science. Thomas Dolby, 1984, 83, something like that. There you go, folks. You're all like, what is he talking about? Well, I'm old. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Three string. You can use any brand of strings. These are point tens. That means the first string of a regular electric guitar set would be a point ten. I'm not. I don't have the first string on here. I'm just saying. Just saying. If you buy the strings to put on to replace these, which you will need to do at some point, uh, these are point tens, which means the first string of a regular six string set is a point ten. Once again, you are not putting this first string on this set, on this guitar. This is the five, five, four, three string, the fifth, fourth, and third. Fifth is normally tuned to A, in this case it's tuned down to G, you can tune it up to A if you want, so it's right now G, D, which is your fourth string of a regular six string set, and another G, which is the third string of a regular six string set. So if you, and these are point Tens, which means your first string of a regular six string set when you go to the music store is a point ten. Again, you are not putting a first string on this guitar. That's just the first string of a regular six string set. You're putting the fifth, fourth, and third of a six string set. Fifth, fourth, third. So you can also put a point oh nine, which is the extra light. 0.09s are more slack. Mileage may vary. You'll need to adjust. You need to 
try them, see what happens. If they're too loose, put some point tens on. If they're too tight, put them down to point oh nines. Just, just like any guitar, just like any guitar, just like any guitar, just like any guitar, just like wait, sorry, just like any guitar ever made. You have to experiment with your favorite um, gauge of strings. There is no one gauge or style or brand of Cigar Boss guitar strings. All guitar strings are the same. Once again, all guitar strings are the same. You just buy the gauge that you like and you put it on all your guitars, including the $6,000 Martins. So, bottom line. This has a 5-4-3 config, 5th string, 4th string, 3rd string, tuned to G, D, G. I like hearing that. So when you replace these strings, which you will need to do, if you play a lot, um, I replace mine once a week or two. I play a lot, play a lot of gigs. Uh, if you don't play so much, maybe three months, maybe six months, maybe a year, maybe three years, you'll have to change them. But you will have to change the strings at some point. So, you can get the regular light gauge, which is the point ten on the first string. I'm not going to give you all the gauges of all the six strings. That's a waste of time and very confusing. So, a regular gauge, light gauge string, the first string of a six string set is point ten. That's what these are. And if you buy the extra light, they're going to be point oh nine for the first string. So, if you don't like the point oh nines, get the point oh tens. Actually, the point tens. You don't like the point tens, get the point oh nines. Those are your two options. Anything heavier than that, your mileage may vary. This was designed by moi to be uh, used with the point oh nines or the point tens. If you put heavier gauge strings on, it tends to pull the neck up just a bit, which means it pulls the strings up, which means it's hard to fret, and the strings are too far away from the fretboard. Blah, 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 blah. Lots and lots of science goes into making these things. There you go, folks. Three string blue. What's the name of this one? Exodus, that's right, tomorrow, Toronto Exodus. Now I can make this in a four string configuration. I can make it without the sound hole. And I can make it with uh, different gauge strings. Vast, 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 majority of all the guitars I make. Same basic design different boxes bridge is always the same you got your strip holder strap holder you got your input jack volume down here somewhere some of them have sound holes some don't but basically that's what i've been doing since 2004 once again thanks for watching and thanks for your kind support and toodles